Hi everybody, I'm back with a follow-up video about the John Lennon Mind Games EP that's going to be released on Record Store Day, April the 20th. I want to thank, once again, the John Lennon crew for sending me uh, two copies, one on limited edition audiophile black vinyl, 180 grams, and also another one, a collector's glow-in-the-dark edition which uh, I spotlighted both of these. If you want to watch my video just before these, back in that video, I showed you the records, looked at the labels, showed a little bit of the glow-in-the-dark vinyl, although uh, I didn't record it ideally after midnight or something in the real dark where I should have, where it really would have sh really shined and glowing. But I did cover it. And uh, check that video out if you want to actually see the things. Um, again, um, this is very exciting. So April 20th, this coming Saturday, is Record Store Day. And go to your local record store where you can pick these up. You can pick them both up. You can pick up one of your choice. Uh, and I'm so happy that I was able to get these gifted to me for promotional purposes. Now, this video, the purpose is that I'm going to be talking about the four tracks. There are four songs offered on here. And I've since found out, I wasn't sure at first, but all four of these tracks will, in fact be on the Ultimate uh, Edition special collector set that's coming out in July. It used to be June, but now they've moved it. The new date is July of 2024, so you have some time. And uh, there are going to be, I think, somewhere 70-something tracks available on here with a lot of discs. So you, if you John Lennon fanatics, you're going to want to check that out. I know I will. And when that comes out, you can bet that I'll be here talking about all the tracks. I'll be talking about a rundown of what it sounds like, what's here. Uh, I, I was almost going to say what's not here, but that's not the case. We're going to be getting stuff that we've never heard before. So let me talk about the four tracks here. Um, I gave it this uh, wonderful new EP, Two Listens. And uh, I was blown away by a couple of things I heard here, a couple of the tracks in particular. So let me tell you, we start out, first of all, with Mind Games, the title track. It's uh, the Mind Games Ultimate Mix. Now, it's the same version that we know as far as the vocal goes, the usual Mind Games. It's not a different vocal run through or anything like that. It's the same because it's just a different mix, really. And uh, all I could say is the song Mind Games has always been one of my very, very favorite John Lennon songs. These days, I say it's a it's a tie between Instant Karma and the song Mind Games as my very favorite John Lennon solo song. Um, Mind Games has replaced uh, Imagine for me as, you know, my favorite kind of like message kind of song from John. Um, and um, although it's the same vocal, this is very clean. You know, John loved to bury his voice, use a little bit of kind of... Um, uh, slight uh, reverb sounding. Here it's very clean, very prominent, his vocal, which is fantastic. I like at the end of the song, you get to hear him pretty clearly say his line at the end, make love, not war. I know you heard it before. And you hear it almost two times. So I'm really glad that that was faded in such a way that I got to pick up on that. Okay. Um, it's funny because I, while I love John's voice being so prominent, it seems like the instruments are not quite as, as loud as, as, as I would have liked, but I'm so blown away by how crisp and clean John is singing this and how clear we can hear the original version, but now enhanced, that I was not bothered by anything else, and it sounded so smooth, probably the smoothest I've ever heard it. I really, really love the, the first track. Now, the second track is I'm the Greatest. It's called also The Ultimate Mix. Some people were asking me after my last video now, since this just says it's a mix, a different mix, is Ringo singing this? Well, no, it's John. John is on the vocal for this. You know, he did this as a kind of run-through for Ringo. And uh, on this particular version, of course, you get to have Ringo on it. Ringo's on the drums, I believe, and George Harrison's on it, and Klaus Vorman is on it. So you've got uh, John, George, Ringo, and Klaus on here. And it's John basically going through it. Um, the words are different in places. You know, you don't hear all the same words as the finished track as appeared on the 1973 Ringo self-titled album. It's a John song that he wrote for Ringo, and he felt he couldn't really sing it because he couldn't go around proclaiming, I'm the greatest. Everybody would think he was like an egomaniac or something. So he, he wrote it for Ringo to sing. 
uh, really. And um, Ringo does a great job of it on his album. But it's great to hear John helping out here and uh, kind of laying it down. Uh, now, there's been several versions of this, you know. Back from the old days of the Lost Lennon Tapes program in 1988, we heard a few of these. There were different versions of John doing this, and I might have preferred those a little bit more over this one. Uh, this is still very good, but it's also one that's been out before. Uh, this particular version of I'm the Greatest was out on the John Lennon Anthology box set of CDs that uh, was out in, uh, I think it was the late 90s, maybe. I don't remember the exact date on that. But uh, I think, uh, from what I'm understanding, the speed is different. The speed is different, but this sounds really good. Um, so that's the second track. Then when you flip over the, the EP, which, by the way, I should mention, somebody else asked me, is this, since this is an EP, although it's a 12-inch EP, is it 45 RPM or 33 and a third speed? The, this EP record is 33 and a third. So that settles that question. All right. We start out on side two with the highlight for me. I don't, know, I don't know if anybody else would say this, but the song, I never know how to pronounce it exactly. I do the best I can. I kind of pronounce it like John does, and even it's even been said that he's not pronouncing it right. But I sue misen, which means I'm, I'm sorry in Japanese. Uh, to me, it's the highlight. It's always been one of my very, very favorite hidden tracks by John, because I think John pours out his soul. It's an apology song to Yoko. He's tearing himself up about it, and he really renders it so beautifully. Uh, I love the pain and anguish in this song, the, the way he sings it. In this particular version, you've got no echo again, no reverb, no smothering of John's voice. It's very free and upfront. In a way, it, it could be said it gives it a different personality. You know, it's definitely different from the way we're used to hearing it on the Mind Games LP, uh, being so like clean like that. But also, what I've always loved about this track was David Spinoza's guitar, okay? He writes this really, it plays this really sublime guitar. And I, I, what I like about this is, although the vocal, again, it's, it seems to be the same one from on the Mind Games album, only so, so uh, perfect and kind of raw, you know, natural, uh, that it's, it's a whole different vibe. But I like that you hear Spinoza's guitar kind of um, playing along with John singing. You get to hear hear it, which I don't remember hearing as much on the officially released version. You hear more of the guitar accompanying and uh, the sublime sound of John's vocals which I don't remember hearing. But, of course, the end, which we always know, if you know the song and love it as much as I do, it has a biting, stinging end guitar solo, which is always the highlight of the song to me. Love the solo. And over here, you really get to hear it really clean and clear. It's really nice. So that's a special treat to me. The last track on the EP is called You Are Here, and it's an outtake. It's take five. Now, I think this version was also available previously, maybe on the John Lennon Anthology, but that one was only about five minutes as I, uh, as I clocked it in. This one here is longer, 10 or 11 minutes, so they got more of it. If you like this song, you get a lot of it. And the first thing you notice when you're listening to it, there's some very, very different ver uh, verses here. It's not all the same the way you know it. There's some different verses. The verses are sometimes, when you listen to different versions, the, the, not what you're used to hearing verses that were unused in the final uh recording or mix so i really like it it's more primitive more basic and there are no female harmonies on here you know in the finished uh, version that we're used to you hear a uh, female singer kind of uh echoing what john says repeating the lines you are here and such wherever you are they repeat wherever you are you are here and they repeat you are here you don't have the, the females repeating that. Um, and that's really, it's a very interesting version. Uh, and, and we get so much of it that it's fantastic to hear a long version like that. So that's it. And uh, I'm looking forward, like you wouldn't believe now, to the uh, Ultimate Edition, you know, uh, continuing from the, the Lennon Estate, the great work they did with albums like the Plastic Ono Band Box, the Imagine Box, the Give Me Some Truth Package. 
I am so looking forward to this in July in the summer, and I hope you are too. Again, check out my video before this where you get a more proper look at the records themselves and what, you know, how they appear and stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, that's it for me, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy.